up you guys, Charnamus Prime here doing another toy review on the McFarlane Toys Nickelodeon TV shows Rabbids Invasion. Please check out ToyNewsEye.com for the latest in action figure news and a full gallery of images from this review. And I also gotta give a big shout out to my boy Pixel Dan. He just started a new YouTube channel called Toyak. And if you like toys like this geared for the younger audience, subscribe to his new channel. It's called Toyak. Link is in the description below. Now I gotta give a thanks to McFarlane Toys for making this review possible. We got a lot of stuff over here. I'm excited to review this plush toy. These action figures look really cool. I really like the blind bag stuff, but this plunger blaster I'm really excited about the most. That's going to be awesome. So, first we're going to take a look at this Rabbit Invasions action figures over here that come with sounds and bonus hanging clips. We also have the plunger blaster over here. Then we'll take a look at the plush toy and then we'll save the blind bags for the very, very last part. There's seven of these different little two inch collectible blind bag toys. They sent me five packages. One of them came opened already. We'll take a closer look at that later on. So, here's a look at the packaging for the two-pack action figures. They're more action figures than just keychains. They have functions and whatnot, and you can see they have these pull tabs right over here, so when you pull those off, they will make sounds afterwards. So let's pull this one out over here. I guess if, I don't know what part of it I'm supposed to touch. Well, here, let's pull the tab out of this one. Let's see if I touch it. There it goes. So he makes a sound right there. So yeah, this one comes with plunger face and chicken surprise. And then if you look on the back over here, there's another two pack. It comes with the driller and starfish friend. And then these are the little two inch collectibles from the blind bags that we saw earlier. And then here is the plunger blaster, which is actually my favorite piece out of the assortment they had sent me. We have a, a rabbit right there on the side of the packaging right there. And then a different sad rabbit right over there. So yeah, let's get to it and crack this one open. So here we have plunger face, mostly made with hard plastic. So let's just get a 360 on this little figure over here then we have this little loop right over here and then you can see the speaker so you can plug this right around here it's very very simple just uh, loop this around and there we go like magic so there that is so if you want to clip this onto your backpack or anything else you can do that and then if you want to change the batteries out you can unscrew that over there and it comes with this little stand over here that plugs right in so you mostly just want it standing like that if you want to or you can have them hanging from your backpack and there's this button that makes the button Bop, bop sound there. So yeah, he has those two sounds right there. Now this is what I really like about this is that he makes one sound when you pull the plunger away from his face and the plunger itself is made out of a soft pliable material so it doesn't look like it's gonna ruin the plastic or anything. So here we go. So that's what it does. And the string just brings it right in. I wonder if you can do it on different sides of his face. No, if we go from the side, nope, it still just goes straight in center. But, yep. And then, gotta test it. And here's the second of the two. This one's called Chicken Surprise. And it comes with this sombrero like hat over here that has this really nice texture on it. It kind of reminds me of cast iron. I think that looks pretty nice. And it has these two handles on the sides. And you got this plug where it goes right into the top of his head. And you can see he's holding this chicken right over here, which looks great. And you have this egg. And I'll get into the function for a second, but it's a natural looking egg. It's brown instead of white, you know. Chicken's eggs are supposed to be brown, not white. And then here's the chicken, kind of almost looking more like a rooster, I guess. I don't know. It has the guaddle and the Thing over here. But anyway, just like the other one, you can interchange the batteries on the back. You can see the speaker right there. We have this loop so you could plug the little hanging deal. And there we go. It's actually a little easier putting this hanging clip on with this part right here. I did it the other way on the other figure. And then we can plug this piece right in here. And the paint application, and I gotta say also the paint applications on this are very, very clean. And then you could spin this around so that it could be kind of covering his eyes or have his eyes exposed. You know, you can get little different looks by spinning it around like this. So let's get to the function of this, which I actually really like a lot on this guy. So you have this uh, chicken head right here, and I like how one pupil is bigger than the other. It's so goofy looking. So you have the chicken loaded up with the egg over here, and then just pull on his neck. Boom! There it goes. And then let's just do it one more time. I think it's really funny how you can hear the egg splat against something. I think that's awesome. And here we have the plunger blaster. It has a try me right over here. That's pretty awesome. And it has two modes. It has bois mode and prank mode. And it says for rabid sounds, pull trigger to hear sounds. We already did that. It says it has, wow. 
That was a big one. And then it has 15 unique rabid sounds. It says with rabid sounds on the back over here. You can see that we have a picture of the two inch collectible blind bag toys. Then we have this two pack that we just went over and then there's this other two pack right here. And then it says right here, now you too can be a part of the rabid's invasion with the rabid's plunger sound blaster. Command your wacky army of rabid's with 15 unique rabid sounds. Blah, burp, fart, flush, laugh, and scream your way into the unpredictable rabid's world. Once you've mastered the rabid's language, put the plunger sound blaster into prank mode and play a joke on your unsuspecting friends. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do that. So it says on the back too, blah mode, press trigger for random sound effects, prank mode, press and hold trigger for five seconds. Prank mode has now been activated. Place the plunger sound blaster in a desired prank location and 20 seconds later, the mayhem will begin when the blaster plays random crazy rabid sounds. So I am very, very interested in see how that's going to play out. Look at the face of this thing. Let's crack this thing open. Here's the plunger blaster out of the packaging and I'm surprised that it actually has some nice paint detail I mean for a kid's toy look at this we have this nice black paint shading right here on the gray part over here on the handle and I think that looks pretty cool you get the R with the rabbit ears right there or the rabid ears and here's the trigger and there's some nice texture and paint variation right there to simulate wood even though it's made out of plastic but this actually looks pretty nice you get the rabbit right there some nice gray and black paint. Then here's the plunger section over here. Then here's the face of the rabbit at the end of this thing. This looks so funny. His eyes are like almost open like that and the tongue's sticking out. So basically this thing has 15 different sounds as I explained before. Let's try to get through them all. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I like that one. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then. Whoa, and right back to the belch again. So the way this prank mode works is that you want to pull the trigger, hold it down for five seconds, and then you want to leave it in a sneaky spot, you know, an unsuspecting location, and then 20 seconds later, it'll just go off on its own. Ew. <laughs> and if you don't want to use the prank mode, you could still sneak up on people with it anyway. So this thing is a lot of fun. I really like it a lot. What's really cool too is that you keep pushing the trigger and it just keeps going. It's <laughs> kind of ridiculous. I know it's kind of annoying, but at the same time, I'm very entertained by this and it cracks me up. So here's the plush toy and it's very nice and soft. I like the fabric on it and I like the colors on it and everything. Nice, soft little plush toy. And it has this tag right over here. It says for ages three and up. Uh, we can snip this off and there's nothing really on the back. So just carefully snip this tag off. And there we go. Probably not going to keep this for myself. I'll probably give it to the lovely Charlita one. I think she would look adorable with it. But overall, you know, it's a plush toy. It looks pretty good. It has these little pad things right here at the bottom of its feet. It doesn't stand up or anything. And it looks nice and cuddly and it's all squishy. Whoa, look at that with the eyes. That's kind of funny looking. <laughs> and last but not least, we are on to the blind bags, the two inch collectibles. There are seven of these different ones. It says contains one of seven over here. And then here are six of them that we know how they look. We have the frying pan one, which actually arrived loose. Then we have this jumping happy one. I guess this uh, sad one or this shameful one over here the starfish one and then this other guy who's covering his butt and then this baseball playing one then there's a secret seventh one over here it says did you get the mystery figure so yeah that's pretty much it with these blind bags I have five of them uh, like I said one of them was open here's the frying pan one over here which looks actually pretty nice these are pretty nice little figurines they're not posable or anything there's no articulation but it's a solid enough figurine and it comes with this little stand over here and it plugs into his one foot and I like the facial expression on this and it looks like we have this nice shiny gunmetal paint right here for the frying pan which looks pretty nice and has some dents into it and it fits into his hand very nicely so you just push it in 
there like that and he holds it just fine. So let's get to opening one of these things. I hope to get a variety of them. I saw Pixel Dan's video and all of them were the same for him. So I hope I don't have the same luck. So let's just tear this open and let's see which one this is. Oh, cool, we got a different one. And uh, there's a little stand in there still. So I gotta let that one out. I like this one. <laughs> he's holding both of his butt cheeks. Look at that. That is too funny. So yeah, he's holding his butt cheeks and he looks like he just puted. <laughs> Look at that, I like that. And then just like the other one, it has a little stand and just put it right there. And this stand actually has this weird rough texture to it. And now I have two rabbits over here. So let's open this one and just tear it along the side. Let's see which one this is. Let's see. First time I've done this blind bag thing. And ooh, we got the starfish. Look at that. It has this funny looking starfish bikini top right over there and some swimming trunks right there. Look at that face, man. Looking in two directions. This is pretty nice. And just like the other one, you can just plug it into this stand. And there we go. So now we have three. And then here's number four. Hopefully this one's different. I like when they're all different. All right. And we have the happy flying one. That one's pretty cool. Look at that. Yeah. Still like the butt clenching one. So now we have four. And then we are on to number five. And let's see. And... Oh, this is the secret one. Nice. I scored. So this is a dodgeball one, right? Or no, bowling ball. That's a bowling ball right there. So this is the secret seventh one. Well, I'm actually really excited right now to have the secret seventh one. I like the baseball hat on this. There we go. That's not too shabby. That's pretty cool. I like that. And he's holding this bowling ball all wrong. I like how they scope the butts on these things. They're just so funny looking. This is just too funny. Actually, this is not the secret seventh one, or is it? Because this one has a red baseball hat. That has a blue baseball hat. I thought this was a baseball mitt at first, but it does look like the same bowling ball that we have over here. So this is actually probably the same one. And going by the silhouette over here, it's probably a totally different figure. So you got to keep on hunting for these things. But I got five different ones, and I'm very happy with what I picked up over here kind of want to find out if I can get the other two so that's my review you guys here's everything out of packaging and on display and I think these are very very fun toys I especially like the plunger blaster and the two inch collectible figurines over here that come in the blind bags I thought those are the two most fun parts of me doing this review anyway and playing with these toys I had a good time thank you McFarland toys for making the review possible again check out toynewseye.com for the latest in action figure news check out pixel Dan's toy Yak YouTube channel and I hope you guys like my video please hit the like button if you did leave a comment let me know what you guys think of these things and please subscribe i will catch you later peace